Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is RimWorld. We are back at the Hussar and High Mate Colony. And guys, I've got some good news here, some exciting news. So literally moments after I ended the last episode, right before I saved and exited the game, there was a pop-up right here. New lovers. And we have a new romance in the colony. That's right. So Strong and her husband are no longer... Uh, Shepard, who is her husband, they are no longer the only... Oh, he needs a color change. They are no longer the only pawns here with a romance. And we now have Lady V and Cinderman. That is right. Our mustard-colored boy here, he has finally found himself a wife well hopefully we'll see it is just the beginning of a romance but i think what i'm gonna do is okay i, I can do try for that yeah let's set his pregnancy chance up wait what no let's go to lady v yeah okay the, so the relationship in general gets a boost now can we set them to the same bed i don't think i have that allowed for this ideology yeah ideology forbids it mm. we might want to change that huh i mean we'll see how things work out hopefully they'll get married but in the meantime maybe it's best to go ahead and start off with a new ritual let's do oh hold on let me take care of the color very important i don't like seeing these mismatch colors there we go okay so he's set yeah let's grab lady v because she is our priest and let's see we did one of these recently but no we've are, all right that time has been reset so we can do a brand new one here for 94 percent. that's good i'm actually going to give what's his face just a few seconds here to change his colors and we'll get that started okay well shepherd is now in, outfitted in the right colors the party has started even the little ones are getting involved. Little baby Arslan jumping around. There we go. I can see that just from zooming in, there's a few people who probably need to have their gear color changed again, but it's all right. Let me see. I think that they still get the bonus now if they're partially in their color. No, I don't think that's the case, though. He, he's he got it. Cinderman's got it. All right. So, oh, look, even the Pumas getting, or the Cougars getting involved. Oh, my God. This is going to be a wild party, guys. We got furries showing up and everything. There it is. Fun. Oh, and a wanderer has joined us. Chemical interest. Oof. Of course, the real criteria here for any pawns that want to join is their xenotype what are you a waster uh, i should have known with the chemical interest darn it because we really could have used another plant specialist unfortunately so what we're going to do is reject here sorry 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 but um no worries no worries i think we'll go ahead and do another ritual pretty soon i'm gonna let him eat and spend half a day recovering from that one but if we look duality yeah, we're at 9 of 14, so we are getting close to Reformation. I'm just, like I said, I might have to pop out a couple others. There's another one we can still do outdoors, too. Oh, look, we completed the EMP shells. That's good. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, this one. 93%. This is the one where we set off lanterns. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Wait, what is it? You need four wood. Oh, I don't have the wood for it. Oh, darn it. That's all right. I, I'm pretty sure I've got bills set for chopping down like half the forest. It's just our planters are in full growing season right now. So, oh, and by the way, we have a wild impet trapped inside the colony. So that's great. Okay, well, I've been down here forcing Shay to cut down some trees, but she's almost done. Doesn't give us quite as much as I'd like. Especially considering that our trap funnel is completely wasted at this point. And we're missing a piece of the wall, too. So that's going to be very important to get that up and running. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure we're totally out of granite. But uh, we'll get it going. I do have three stone tables working right now. It's just they need to pick up some granite. So we've got a lot of stuff just waiting on stone. You can see we've even got 
drapes. Actually, this is waiting on wood. <laughs> but the floors themselves, I think the meditation table. Oh, this just need or meditation throne. Yeah, that needs some more marble. But it's okay. I'm just going to pull back, stop ordering them to construct new things. In fact, I'm going to forbid those. Make this the big priority there. Yeah, and like I said, do a little micromanaging down here with some of this resource collection for now. Oh, look at it. It's a glorious day here in the barn. Our first baby Thrumbo has just been born. There he is, a little Thrumbo calf. Oh, a male. Nice. So, we've, as you can see, we do have four adult Thrumbos that we were able to capture and then forcefully tame after we trapped them here in our barn. And this one is almost ready to be released, Thrumbo number two. I keep them in the barn just because it's easier for our trainers to get to them. You know, they don't have to traipse all the way across the compound trying to find a Thrumbo to train them. So once they do get fully trained in hauling, I'll allow them to just roam around like the cougar. That's why we saw the cougar show up during our ceremony. He gets out there hauling. Uh, but the baby is very special, very special. This is the start of our Thrumbo army right here. Oh, I need to set it to the barn. There we go. So, unfortunately, Shay, I think, is still the only one capable of training these. But Clarissa, where is she? She is... I might need to get some more animals so she can continue to train. But she is set to handle. She's at a five, so she's halfway there. We've got a cat now, too. I bought a cat. Did I limit the cat? Okay, yeah, I put the cat in the barn. That was wrong. I thought that was the thrumbo. Now, the cat can roam around the home. Actually, let's make it the safe area. Yeah, that's good. That'll allow it to nuzzle our colonists and stuff. But um, right now, I need to make sure we're keeping up with our kibble production. Oh, look at this. We have definitely got our food back in full swing. I was having an issue with that during the winter. We ran out of produce. But now our garden is back at it again. So we should be good now. I just need to keep the meat flowing. So let's make sure our wildlife hunting. I don't like having to go across the river to go for game. It really slows them down. So we'll do some hunting over here, even if it means we have to hunt some predators. I'll just, I'll just micromanage the hunts a little bit, too. Make sure nobody gets caught by a lynx. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to basically wipe out anything in the southern half of the map. Yeah, it looks like about it. Those yaks will help there. This group right here, that's going to be a nice little chunk of meat. What are we getting from each one of these boys? 265 from each of them. Not too bad. Oh, man, here we go. Cinnamon's taking out the... The lynx, see this is what I'm talking about, micromanaging. If you if you just let them stand there, the lynx will get up, catch up to them. Well, sometimes. But uh, if you have them run and gun, because we do have the run and gun mod here enabled. So if you've got that enabled, you can make sure to recruit them. And just have them run. Basically kite the animal around the map. And that'll do the trick. So now we can finish it off at our leisure and have some lunch. Oh boy, check this out. The wanted prisoners. Keep three prisoners for 16 days. They're suffering from paralytic abasia, which is good. They won't try to break out. They'll just be, we have to feed them. So it takes a little labor. But unfortunately, wasters from the Poison Society revered the vault. So they're going to send three raids of roughly 34 snipers at us. Jesus Christ. They got a lot of snipers over there, apparently. But um, decent rewards. I wouldn't go for this one or this one. Although that's a lot of uranium. That's a hell of a lot of uranium. Now, honestly, I'd probably do the 12 honor, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to go for that kind of a raid here. Let's see. So our most of it, yeah, we've had a few mech clusters enemy raid recently. So we probably won't get hit with anything, you know, incredible. I, you never know with Randy, though. It is random. So it's not like Phoebe Chillax or... Cassandra Classic where it's at intervals you can predict it but this that's part of the fun you know oh combat supplier that'll help we have, we've got a lot of random weapons to be selling just crappy tools and stuff oh I still have the stupid bio coated thing I wasn't able to smelt it though even though I have 
this set set to biocoded weapons it won't allow me to do the zeus hammer and i've looked it doesn't even appear i don't know yeah see there's nothing z there related which is weird zeus hammer yeah it, let me know too i'm pretty sure this is not a modded weapon here right this is vanilla royalty yeah it's part of the royalty dlc but is it because it's persona i i thought i could smelt these but like i said i've ran into kind of a brick wall trying to get rid of this thing i think what i'm going to do now i thought i did this already actually was set this stockpile to allow weapons yeah see it's got bio coated stuff allowed i might need to turn these off though here so if we go to weapons and i'm going to turn off bio coated in our shelves now what this will do is that'll force them to move the hammer outside and eventually it'll just dwindle away because of weather and elements and stuff all right so and obviously i do that to manage the wealth which at this point in the colony's development is kind of pointless but also at the same time it just gets it out of my stockpile i don't have to worry about it taking up space anymore all right let's see what we can do here trading wise i'll get everything set up real quick see if they've got anything interesting and show you what i finish with okay well they don't really have any weapons that we can't make ourselves better versions of essentially i mean maybe the plasma sword but i'm not going to be buying that we can probably make a plasteel longsword that would have more damage but anyway let's see so what we are getting is the tech parent for jump packs and some medicine and i'm selling them a bunch of our junk weapons and most importantly at the bottom some of that thrombo milk that's what's putting us up over the top here and making this a nice lucrative trade so like i pointed out having these thrombos around is not just good for wartime but it's also very lucrative when you have the thrombo extension mod which gives us more milk it also gives us thrombo wool and if you'll notice we got ourselves a second calf already these things are pretty pretty fertile so they've both given birth and or are immediately pregnant again too you can see we've got three thrombo females and they're all pregnant two babies just gave birth so we're good to go it's just i need Oh, I'd love to find a way to increase, like, speed up growth here for these thrombos. I've mentioned that in the past, and I still haven't done any mod searching, but it might become an issue. Now that they're born, especially, I have to sit here and stare at these things for, like, four or five years before they even get, like, really capable of combat. That's not going to cut it, you know? I need something quicker than that. Okay, well, Randy has sent some mad elk at me here. He's driven them crazy. There's like every elk on the board. So instead of just letting these guys run wild all over my traps, I'm bringing our people out here. I think we're going to head them off and lure them in with some human bait. I don't know. They're like crossing. Okay, they're crossing the river. I'm going to put them over here on our little bridge. Maybe that'll encourage them. Yeah, to walk through the water slow them down real nicely so i've put the bridge kind of on hold for now just because it is eating up so much of my granite that i can't even get this wall built right here so and on second hand here too on the other hand we're also in the process of moving the hospital and the prison i'm going to probably move this too i'm gonna shift this building structure down a bit so it's more in line right here it's not just kind of floating with this odd little alleyway right here so just going to make it more flush with the walls and stuff but um let's take care of the elk first here we go at least we're going to get some more good meat for this but i feel like with the firepower we've got standing right here we shouldn't have to worry too much about running and gunning these elks are going to get taken care of pretty nicely oh look at that we're dropping them off right in front of the door how convenient oh boy well check it out we got a new prosthesis trader arrived and oh this is a good trade right here so we're getting a synthetic kidney and an architect arm i'm gonna trade him away the lung that i accidentally picked up earlier in the series it was kind of a mistake i thought it was a kidney 
but well i thought i needed a lung but i actually needed the kidney so i'm also getting rid of a barrel this is going to wipe out most of our silver too so this is a big trade big purchase but um it's even a bigger risk of failure chance so let's go to strong she needs a i've got her set to the good medicine she needs a left kidney so let's get this set up here it's time to hopefully left kidney there we go and the arm then she'll just be left with a nose and she needs another bionic leg or something but the arm is actually for our boy arslan here so we're gonna have to do a synthetic or i'm sorry architect arm on the right shoulder there yep and i don't know i kind of want to wait until he's an adult for that might be the best option he does have several years to go though i honestly don't know if there's like a greater failure chance with being with him being a child or I, i'm just not sure plus the architects are so valuable i wouldn't mind waiting a little while longer until uh shay and shepherd get their medical up because they're still not quite maxed out she's at a 13 he's at a 14 they are of course the only ones allowed to do surgeries at this point so we'll just save those right now and plus i don't even have like a true hospital set up so we're just going to be doing this in the bedroom or in the guest house for now so i think we'll be safe with strong let's get her to rest and i'm going to get this operation underway right away just so i don't have to worry we'll get our boy to do it uh there we go all right i'm gonna watch closely okay here we go let's see if we're successful come on shep yeah good job so we got the kidney in there like i said she just got a couple missing pieces those are the big ones though so that should make her not back to full strength like i said but pretty darn close and i think the fact that she's got an architect leg and now a better kidney it's going to kind of compensate actually she might come out still overall just a better pawn because of that so uh still struggling with getting the granite but um we're doing okay i've got the hole fixed the the bridge is officially on hold altogether because i feel like this is probably our priority but um i haven't quite decided how i want it yet but we're making steps there i'm going to get this thing designed here pretty soon it's definitely not just going to be a couple of rectangular buildings you know i'm trying to avoid that at all costs this right here this was our starting structure so it will eventually be replaced with something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but um let me see what i can slap together i think we're at the point now where i can safely start designing but i do want to get these moved as you can see i'm going to shift the door entrance down a ways that's going to give me a lot more room to play with ah let's see every time we get visitors here i'm i'm hopeful that it's going to be shay's love interest because unfortunately she's in love with another guest who showed up and then left but he'll come back i'm confident that he'll be back eventually now this is a big group here bunch of tribals though that's one thing i've learned this particular tribe i don't know if it's true for all tribals but they're all human yeah i actually i think it is fairly true because there are some tribes like the impids who are all imps but this is just a baseliner tribe so it's disappointing but hey we'll still take them because they uh it's good to have allies okay well i don't know exactly how i feel about this just yet but i have laid out a bit of a design here i started off using the shapes tool and i went into this the hexagon shape yeah i use use the empty hexagon shape and i kind of drew a couple of buildings like this as you can see roughly and i canceled some of the corners since we're kind of going for a single block look on these diagonals which is a little bit less safe but it's also a lot more a lot less resource intensive so i eliminated most of the intersection there except on a couple of places like that here and there so it's gonna i hope once it's constructed it's gonna look pretty good now we do have a pretty large prison down here but initially this was a double wall like that so it was a little bit less i think maybe i might go with that and just leave it a double wall here but i don't know 
the same time it's less resources and it's not really necessary but anyway as you can see i have incorporated a nutrient paste dispenser into the design of the prison here in fact i've even got a way if we look at the roof go to remove roof so i'm going to have like an exhaust port right here in the roof that's why this particular piece of wall is here and why it's also forbidden. So we're going to build this all around here and then we're going to remove this one little piece of roof. I'll put, then we'll wall it off. So this is just going to be exposed to the outside, but it'll be completely blocked off with walls. And then I'll put a freezer right here. And this tiny little room will be easily brought down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So anything in these hoppers will remain frozen and then we can feed our prisoners with nutrient paste at will so that'll be helpful like i said we've got ourselves a large prison here but that's that'll you know eventually we'll grow into it as needs be and the hospital itself honestly is a little bit small for my tastes i could have flipped these probably and i still might i still might come in here and just cancel all this but I mean, at this point, we really just got to get the basic walls up and stuff. So we'll get this outline built and then we'll play around with it some more. But I think that's going to work, you know, and it's just important to get it up there. Because if I want to take some prisoners or something, I mean, if we were to get to a drop pod right now and it was a really nice high mate or something and I had to imprison them, I, I wouldn't be able to. You know, I'd have to slap something together or convert one of these bedrooms into a temporary prison. So like I said, it's just good to get the walls up oh check it out well little sass veronica sass lou has a growth moment here and if we take a look at her she's hopefully going to be one of our artists she does not have a pre like a negative disposition towards art so we're going for artistic with her she's very social you gotta love that she is of course um what's it called Nonviolent. oh look tortured artist that's huge yeah, that's very good. Body bond are pretty. Those are good, but we're doing tortured artists for sure. Now, in terms of her skills, the passions, let's do intellectual. And yeah, she's not violent, so melee is a waste. Animals, yeah, she's see, she's at negative eight though for that one. So uh, we won't waste it on that. I don't want to do crafting either. Uh, maybe it's not a bad idea to have a backup crafter. I usually just go heavy with one, but eventually we could use her to maybe make components and stuff because we'll probably need that. So what about our third one? I guess it's going to have to be... <laughs> no, it could be cooking. She's already got a decent cook. We'll use her as her backup backup cook. There we go. So that's good. I wish I could double some of these up right now. Give her like a double passion and intellectual instead of spreading them out, but it's okay. It's whatever. Okay, well, someone in comments recommended or asked the question, why haven't I taken an ovum from Shay and had Cinderman here fertilize it? Even, you know, since I was trying to go for a, the natural pregnancy here and that failed, might as well just do it the unnatural way. Uh, since we do have a growth that, I've got one. I'm almost tempted to go ahead and build a second one too. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, but um, yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea, especially here just before Shay hopefully finally consummates her marriage with Cinderman official, or not Shay, but Lady V does. Getting Shay, um, I don't think I'm going to get her pregnant, but we will just go ahead and install this. Yeah, let's insert it into the growth fact. Can he do that? Pick up embryo. Uh, we'll just wait. I think it, we've got a couple hours here at least before. The, I don't know if this thing will even go bad. But like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with the gen genetics. You know, I've recently just gone through it on my last playthrough extensively. But uh, it so it just kind of slipped my mind. But it's a brilliant suggestion. And we are going to take advantage of that. You know, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and do like a, a purebred Hussar. Get like strong and cinder man. You know, just do another um iv here for a pure oh shoot the cougar's taking it <laughs> that's okay but you know what i'm saying maybe even get a pure high mate too so uh yeah we're gonna build another growth fat and I, we might do a few more of these here i'm also gonna watch this one very closely so it makes sure it gets implanted properly okay there we go so strong is implanting it like i said boom we got our little purple baby look at that can we inspect the genes yes we can so <gasps> very cool let's see here 
Um, so we got psychic bonding, very happy heat weakness, kind instinct, reduced pain, long haired, high libido, go juice dependency. Interesting. I don't see nonviolent or hyper aggressive here. That was like the first thing I was looking at, but I see great shooting, but that doesn't really matter. Weird. So we won't know for sure until they're born, obviously, but I think this pawn is capable of violence. Because if it doesn't say it, then it should be, right? Well, well, we'll find out. Nonetheless, we got a new baby on the way. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. So, wow. Now the only thing is to decide who's next. Man, it really lays them up to having that ovum taken out. Okay, ovum extracted 10 days. Good to know. All right. Okay, well, we finally got enough wood to do this uh, the ritual as promised. So I think we're going to close today's episode here with a little ritual. I hope it's a good one. Uh, but uh, it's been a nice, successful episode here. We got new lovers and a new baby on the way. Artificial as it may be. Test tube babies are the same as regular babies, in my opinion. <gasps> there we go. We just had an unforgettable one. That actually gave us two points towards our ideological reformation so we're only three points away and i think when we do that i will probably allow physical love between you know non-spouses that will make things a little bit easier for us but hey thanks to the commenters out there now we're just going to be able to artificially grow our colony but uh anyway i really appreciate everybody tuning in for today's episode hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far leave me some comments down below they're always appreciated very much so big shout out to my patreon supporters thank you guys so much for your donations if you out there watching would like to also help support me on patreon there is a link in the description below for as little as two bucks a month you can get access to a private discord server as well as exclusive and early releases on the patreon itself so thank you all very much and i will see you on the next one